Xenophobia and xenophobic attacks are criminal. So saying it's criminality, like what the minister has said, and maybe Cyril Ramaphosa as well, I'm talking about Lindio Sasulu, is inaccurate. Let's call it for what it is. It's xenophobic sentiment. Shameful xenophobic violence in South Africa. People killed and hundreds displaced in KZN. Neighboring diplomats say our leaders are to blame. Their political rhetoric fanning the flames of xenophobia. What happened over the weekend we believe with the information available to us was pure criminality. Morning. Um, just how serious is government taking these latest spates of violence against foreign nationals? And also, what is the sort of language that's going to be used there? Are we going to be saying it's xenophobic attacks? However, they are criminals who are mobilizing other criminals to target foreign nationals in order to uh, meet uh, their criminal objectives. Criminality, attacking foreigners again, chasing them away, and the minister calls it criminality. Maybe that's why we are not tackling this successfully. Why can't we just call it for what it is, outright xenophobia against our fellow Africans and stoked by our political leaders? Well, we, we believe uh, that the displacement uh, emanated as a result of a criminal activity and uh, the criminal activity that took place um, was by a few which resulted in the suffering of the large amount of uh, Malawian nationals. The main reason is we have already heard about this for several years and several times that migrants are taking our jobs. We need to look back at our the difficulties of our socio-economic conditions where the triple challenges of uh, unemployment, poverty and inequality comes in.